Hey guys, welcome to a special Jedi Toy Master reaction video. As most of you probably already know, uh, this YouTuber, or I don't know who this person is, but they put together this video, I'll link it below, and it's kind of like the, it's the, well, it is, it's the Obi-Wan Darth Vader fight from Star Wars A New Hope, episode four, reimagined. Uh, I've been dying to see it again, uh, and I wanted these guys to see it, so we're gonna watch it together. And um, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. That's not wrong. It's a space station. It's too big a space station. <laughs> He says he's part of the main the Obi-Wan is here. I must face him alone. Let's see. You remember this from the movie? But this is a little different. Somebody made it a little bit different. Somebody uh, made a different version of this and used some of the videos. Look at oh gosh. Oh god. Darth Vader, yeah. boy <laughs> I like the lens flares Come 
gonna call with our fans. That's, yeah, Anakin is Darth Vader. What did you guys think of that video? <coughs> very cool. Very, very cool. Did you like it, Dylan? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, Jedi Toy Master Dad here. Just kind of jumping into the video uh, for a little bit. Just because I wanted to kind of give my take on uh, this pretty amazing fan film, I guess you can call it. Uh, I wasn't really able to do that with the boys there. They were just kind of like in shock. They didn't know what they were watching. And I think they were also a little bit confused because we watched A New Hope already. They've only seen it once, but they do know that, you know, that that happens. You know, Obi-Wan and Vader fight. And uh, I think they were a little confused because they were kind of thinking, wait, that's not how I remember it. But at the same time, they were very much entertained by the amount of action added to that whole, um, uh, match that Vader and Obi-Wan have. Fix It in Post did an amazing job. And um, I remember seeing the little teaser that was out, that came out a while back. And I, I just thought that was kind of like, just, you know, a little one and done type of little teaser of like, what if? Uh, but the fact that uh, these individuals uh, that did this project actually went in and kind of recreated this whole uh, meet up between uh, Obi-Wan and Vader is just amazing to me. It's not perfect. I don't think their their aim was to be completely 100% perfect and seamless than as far as um, matching up to the 1977 original and those scenes for the amount of resources that they have and the limited access to certain things. Regardless, they did an amazing job. I mean, it's, it's amazing what you can do nowadays with just, you know, a regular camera, um, a green screen and, you know, uh, um, a computer. There were a couple of little shots that I thought were maybe didn't need to be so, um, I'll, I'll call them modern, kind of like modern shots, modern angles. Uh, there's a shot where Vader is like walking and it's kind of, uh, he kind of force picks up the, rips the lightsaber off his, off his belt. And just the way that he's moving, the way he's walking, you know, that's not how Vader moved in the original trilogy. I think, you know, they tried to, they took a little bit of creative liberty in um, the way Vader moves and how fast he moves during a fight. I think that also added to the character. I think, you know, Vader is obviously, he's not Anakin anymore. You know, he's, he's limited. Um, he relies mostly on just his sheer anger and uh, his use of the dark side to really empower him. In this Obi-Wan fight, I think he's moving a little bit too fast. I think Obi-Wan is also uh, sped up a little bit. I, I think if they had slowed down the fight just a smidge, I think the, the biggest complaint with the original Obi-Wan Vader fight is that it wasn't fast enough. It was very slow. It was like two old guys fighting at the end of their careers, kind of. And uh, I think this one suffers from the opposite effect. I think this one, they're, too, they're moving too fast. Regardless, I'm, I'm just nitpicking. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was a great little, a great project. I put this up there with uh, Star Wars uh, Revisited. 
And in case you don't know, just Google it. There's a bunch of websites and forums that talk about it and um, give you more information. Um, it's basically a fan edit of A New Hope where the creator added a lot of special effects and kind of like little, uh, just uh, updated the special effects a little bit, added a couple of little, little small tiny tweaks here and there that uh, are kind of improvements to what was the special edition. And I think they, and they also went back and did uh, Empire Strikes Back. And I think, I believe they're working on Return of the Jedi right now. I think it's great when the fans are able to kind of go in and, you know, put things together like this. I think I, I would love to see more of this. But like Vader looked really good. The actor, uh, a stunt performer that played Vader in this was was really, really good. I don't think he's as tall as Vader, so they kind of had to hide it in a couple of ways. Uh, you can tell that they're always kind of shooting up a little bit to make him look taller. Um, the person that plays Obi-Wan, uh, I mean, if you slow it down, there's a couple of instances where you can see that it's a, it's kind of somebody that looks like Obi-Wan. And then in a, in a lot of the other shots, it's obviously shots of Alec Guinness that they kind of superimposed the face onto this actor. But anyway, I digress. I really enjoyed this. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to it below. I think it was great. The boys uh, loved it, even though they kind of look like they're in shock uh, watching it. And even afterwards, you'll see they're kind of, uh, they don't know how, what to think of it. Um, but I just wanted to chime in and give my two cents. We love Star Wars. I'm a huge fan. Uh, my sons are becoming huge fans in their own right, and I love it. It's one of the greatest joys to be able to share my childhood love of Star Wars with my sons. And the fact that I have three boys who love Star Wars is a, an amazing blessing. So if you wanna help us out, please uh, use our affiliate link down below and just shop Star Wars on Amazon and also Target. We have two affiliate links down below. And also if you wanna be really cool and wear some of our really cool uh, Jedi Toy Master swag, you can check out the link below to our Tee Public uh, store and uh, there's a huge sale going on right now. I think it's only for the next uh, day. So depending on when you watch this video, you might have missed it. But we would love it if you please go to the store, buy a T-shirt, buy some stickers, buy a, you know, buy a sweatshirt, represent. Hey, it's a cool uh, design, Jedi Toy Masters. If, you, if you're a Jedi Master in your own right and you love Star Wars toys, I think it's a great little, uh, great shirt to have. So and you get to represent us and be part of our, be part of our family. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and let's toss it back to uh, us in our reaction. Whoa, well, as you can see, they're speechless. So um, uh, if you haven't seen it, make sure you click below and you watch the whole thing. Very well done. So anyway, if you like this video, uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out some of our other videos up here and make sure you subscribe right there. And as always, we'll <laughs>